to see you. Hmm, I was just wondering, who should I be today? Oh, a cowboy. Howdy, partners. <laughs> no, not a cowboy. Um, oh, hello, 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 a policeman. No, not a policeman. Um, oh, shiver me timbers. I'll be a pirate. And what does every good pirate need? A parrot. Hello, Mr. Baker. You're looking lovely today. Who are me, shipmates? I need me some treasure. That gives me an idea. Fill your treasure chest, me hearties. Try making your very own ancient-looking buried treasure. Who are? Let's make it. <laughs> we need some things from... The doodle drawers. Come on. <laughs> Some cardboard box card. Some black paint and some goldy coloured paint. Some white sticky PVA glue. A crab! Ooh, not you, you little nipper. something round, like a plastic dinner plate. Now, to make your treasure, like this beautiful looking coin here, the first thing you need to do is put your plate on top of your cardboard and then draw around it. This gives us a circle, which we need to cut out. But be careful, because scissors are sharp. In fact, this is a bit fiddly, so oh, you might want to ask an adult to help you with this bit. Now it's time to draw your treasure design. And this could be anything you like. It could be a simple pattern or maybe something you'd see on a coin. Don't forget, if you want to make a simple coin, you could just do a pattern instead. And there we go. Now it's time for the fun part. It's time to put the glue on. Now, we need to go over all of the drawn lines. So squeeze out the glue slowly and carefully and try to follow the lines as best you can. Ooh. But don't worry if the glue splurges a bit. And when you're finished, leave it to dry till it's nice and hard. And when it is dry, the glue will be clear like this. And that means it's time to cover your treasure in black paint. You can paint both sides of your treasure like this. And look, now it's nice and dry. It's time to make your treasure look like treasure using golden paint. Or you could use silver paint and a secret ingredient. It's a paper towel. Gently scrunch up the paper towel into a ball, then dip it in your goldy paint, and then just rub it across both sides of your treasure. Ha 
And there you go, me hearties. You got yourself a piece of old ancient treasure. Now, where's that chest of mine? Oh, a pirate can never have too much treasure. Arr, arr. Wow! Who's a lucky boy, then? I am. Who's that snoring? These are the shapes. Ah, oh, they're asleep. I've got an idea. Let's wake them up. <laughs> Come on, it's time for a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 take it away. Oh, hey, ah, yeah. Yeah. I am the shape. How many triangles can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are 11 triangles. Well done, Triangle. It's time to get back on the shelf. <laughs> ah, those shapes are fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> minute make time. Minute make time. It's minute make time. <laughs> Right, this is what we're going to make today. A Splat Monster Pen Pal. Yeah, got any pencils? It's a pencil's best friend. Now, to make a Splat Monster Pen Pal, you will need a pencil, some paints and some air drying clay, which you can get from any arty and crafty shop. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> Here's my air drying clay. Now, do you think it's possible to make a Splat Monster pen pal like this in a minute? No way! Really? Well, let's find out. I'll have to move very quickly, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to make it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Right, first thing to do is to get some air drying clay and roll it. That's right, I said roll it into a ball. Well, a kind of ball shape, anyway. Then stick it down and squidge. Squidge it into the shape you want. You can make any shape you like. I'm going to do that shape. It's kind of like a blobby triangle shape. Then get another bit of clay. Not much this time. And roll into two eyes. There we go. Two eyes. There we go. Right, and stick those on. Faster! 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 <laughs> I'm going as quick as I can. I'm just putting the eyes on. I'm not doing badly, you know. Right, there are the eyes. Then get your pencil and put a dot there and a dot there. Yeah, the eyes are looking good. And then draw in a mouth like that. A little bit there, a little bit there. And the mouth is where the pencil goes. There you go, just in time. I did it. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I told you I would. 
And when it's dry, you could paint it different colours. And even try different designs too. Lovely. Got any more pencils? Wow! A Splat Monster Pen Pal made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. To make your Splat Monster Pen Pal, take some air drying clay and roll it into the shape you want. Then take two smaller pieces of clay and roll them to make eyes. Take a pencil and add dots in the eyes and a mouth shape. Before finally pushing a pencil in place, let it dry and paint your Splat Monster any colour you like. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Hello, Mr Baker. Guess what we're making today? Oh, I don't know. Let's go and see. <laughs> I'm black. I'm blue. I'm yellow. I'm red. Done, everyone. See you next time. Now it's time to frame it. Frame it. Frame it. Now have a look at this. This is a great idea you can try using dried pasta shapes to make hair. It's very easy, but looks so good you'll be able to frame it. You'll need some dried pasta shapes, some glue and some pencils. Draw a man with no hair, or you can do any design you like, really. Then colour him in. Now add some glue. And then take some of this twisty pasta and stick it on. Look, it makes a really funny hairdo. Let's try something else. Draw a dog. Add some glue. And take some of this straight pasta called spaghetti and break it into small pieces. And then stick it down. Arrange the pasta. And look, it's a spaghetti spaniel. <laughs> Finish it off with a pasta bow. Why don't you have a go? Pasta tubes make great spiky hair. Wiggly pasta makes really good horse's hair. And tiny pasta tubes make fantastic curly hair. What a great way of making a really clever picture. Now all that's left to do is... Frame it! You can make pictures out of all sorts of things. Watch this. I've got something to show you. Watch this. Go on then, off you go. Guess what picture the footprints are making? Any ideas yet? What could it be? It's 
a dragon. That was brilliant. <laughs> it's a lovely day for a spot of spring cleaning. <sighs> lovely. I can see the sea. <sighs> Aha! This gives me an idea. A super squashy foam boat that can float. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> some different coloured sponges. <laughs> a lobster? No, we don't need this. Ow! Don't get snappy. <laughs> some scissors. And some white sticky PVA glue. Whoa! Now, to make a foam boat like this one here, first get a large rectangle shaped sponge like this. This is going to be the main part of our boat. Now, take some scissors, but be careful because scissors are sharp. <laughs> we need to cut two triangle shapes here and here. Now, this is a bit fiddly, so it's probably best to ask an adult to help you. You should be left with a boat shape like this. There. Next, we need three other sponges, and these are great because they're all different colours. Let's put the green one on top. There. Now, with another sponge, carefully cut a small rectangle shape. Let's pop this on top of that green sponge there. And then with our last sponge, we can cut out some details. Cut some little circle shapes out for portholes and a bigger shape for a funnel. Again, if you find this hard, ask an adult to help you. Now you're ready to stick it all together. Look, I've stuck my three big sponges together and put four windows on this side and four windows on the other side and even a funnel on top. Wow, a super squashy foam boat. I wonder if it'll float. Oh, let's see. It does. Let's jump aboard. Oh, great. A life on the ocean wave. Oh, I am feeling a bit seasick, though. Oh, I think we should get back to dry land. Oh, 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 that's better. Now let's see what else you can make with a sponge. Fantastic, look, a sponge tractor. And what a nipper, a sponge crab. Wow. So you see, you can turn a sponge into anything you want. Time to go, time to go. Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box. If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies for more ideas.